Thank you. So you don't have to you. hide that chain. It's no, so I cool. No, I do. The sound people told me to oh, make they, sure oh, it, doesn't, it'll hit. it doesn't bang the microphone. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. Oh, your accent's coming out. I'll hit microphone. Um, so <laughs> do they do, you're from Australia. Do they do Halloween in Australia? Do you get into it? No, we have uh, we have what? no Halloween, yeah. Bah, humbug. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, not at all. Yeah, yeah what? Not Why? Even, not even a little bit. I'm not sure. I think maybe a stranger danger kind of thing. Like, you're not really trusting. You know, it is really weird. because I I let my kids go, and then it, until I became a parent, I switch out their candy at home because I'm. You I, have no idea. Because I don't trust yeah. humans. No I don't. Way. I know that sounds so sad, uh, but. Why would you? Yeah, it's you just never know, <laughs> and then like people scare you on the news, whatever. Mm. Um, so you have crazy cool wildlife mm -hmm. in Australia, mm. um, but you have a lot of wildlife at your your place in LA yeah, as well, right? Yeah, because everybody's always telling me, you know, like Australia's got crazy, you know, bugs and spiders, and at uh, my house, I used to live right by the Hollywood sign. And I had like a, a baby rattlesnake in my backyard oh. that I had to kind of, you know, put like, I put on like these micro, uh, like oven gloves. Yeah. And I had like a pole. <laughs> and there's, a, there's this video of me fighting this rattlesnake like out of, <laughs> out of my house. And then also up in the mountains, we uh, rest in peace, but we had this, this mountain lion who was yeah. like 20 something years old and his name was P22. And he lived, P22, yeah. shout out. Oh. Yes. Rest in peace. What a beautiful creature. Yeah. Just walking around in the Hollywood sign. I know. See, I have a ranch in Montana. We have mountain lions, and I always catch them on my trail cams. They're so beautiful. So I don't want to see one hiking. No. Um, <laughs> they tend to run away from you. Right. But I think when they get older, they get a little different. They get yeah. a little. Well, this one's kind of buff too. Yeah. Oh, so are the ones on my land. They yeah. are well fed. <laughs> they cross by the camera, and I'm like, please, dear God, never see me in person. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. But they're beautiful. Yeah. I love it. But there is a lot of wild and coyotes. There's a ton of stuff There's in LA. Heaps of stuff. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. So I have to tell everybody this. I don't know if you know this, but I found this out about. You. You're like quite the photographer. I like to take pictures, yeah. You li I like to take pictures, and I'm not good at it. <laughs> but you're like really good at it. So I want to. So you have photos of traveling. I want to show. I want to show everybody this. It's so. I mean, I just love the shots you do. And there's so many. There's so many. We're gonna show more. So like, what? What is this? There's obviously a different form of selfie. <gasps> I love this one. Yeah, this is me and my mom in uh, in London. <gasps> Uh, four or five it. years ago, I think. And, and that camera it. is not brand new, you no, know? It's a, it's yeah. A, it's a, it's a, ro uh, it's a Rolly Flex. I'm not sure when it's from, but it's got this little, it's boring. It's like a twin reflex. It's line. not boring. It's, it's so cool. It's, it's like something cool. I would buy and go, I'm going to use this, and then yeah. I don't. It's weirdly simple. Yeah. It's not too hard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I heard that I heard that music actually helped you with your accent, like breaking your accent, because I I feel like that helps me whenever I I grew up seeing classical music yeah. and it helped me take out the twang. Right. Yeah. Whenever I sing, so I can put it in and take it out. Yeah, is you that, don't really have one. Is, is, when I talk, I do. When I talk. <laughs> <laughs> when I talk yeah, especially now. if I'm tired or drinking. <laughs> right. Um, yes. <yeah. laughs> but it really hits home then. Um, yeah. But no. But I heard that music actually helped you, like break your accent, right? Yeah. I think I think it was, I listened to a lot of Eminem. Like a, oh. an, like a, a terrible amount of Eminem. So, so you sound like a tough American when you talk. It was talk. like Detroit. Okay. It was you okay. know, like a big sort of, sort yeah. of thing to it. And I still love that man so yeah. much. And I, I, have, I feel like more and more I have to thank him so much, you know, for Yeah, well, he's incredible. The, yeah. Yeah, I'm a huge fan as well. Yeah. Yeah, I just found it interesting to break your accent. You listen to Eminem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you're coming into your like auditions <laughs> That's very yeah. aggressive. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Yeah. So what other artists do you like? What do you listen to? Right now, I, I mean, Bon Iver is my like, oh. number one, you know, yeah. favorite thing to listen to. The National. Um, I listen to a lot of David Bowie at the moment. Yeah. But I have this thing with David Bowie. It's like overrated, underrated. Like he's so rated. Yeah. That then you kind of go back and you listen to the music and you're like, oh my God. Like, yeah. This is... It's really good. It's so artistic. <laughs> but it sounds silly though to say like David Bowie's really good at doing music. Yes, but no, yeah. but you're you're kind of right. You hit something there because people know his name and people like I was introduced to David Bowie from the Labyrinth. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, it's the coolest thing Huge ever. Labyrinth fan, that's and that's how I got to know. But I know his name more than I knew his music. And then when I got into music, I just started really delving into like yeah. his catalog. And he, I get what you're saying. He's got an incredible catalog. But he's like an artist just across yeah. everything. You know? Visual, yeah, like audio, yeah, it's uh, everything. Art, yeah. Do you you collect records? I collect vinyl. I've uh, way too much. Right. Yeah. I hear yeah. that you like actually know about it's it. It's stupid. Yeah. I don't know anything about it. Yeah, a vinyl? I, no, I like I have a lot of them, oh. but I like I'll go to like like a Goodwill and just buy a yeah. random 
ballet jazz thing or something, Fine. and then and then you listen to it. And you but find it's kind it. of an interesting way to like find music again. Yeah, you find stuff that you would never, you probably can't even find on Spotify and stuff like that. Yeah, like really that's a way I found um, Ann Peebles too. Do you remember the Missy Elliott song? You're way too young, but like, there's, um, I can't stand the rain. That song, like whatever. But so Ann Peebles is the original singer. I didn't even know it was like right, sampled. Right, right. I didn't even know. And, and then I, you find you find all I, and these. Then you there's find so out. many Kanye West ones that you find. Yeah. In, uh, oh like, yeah. Hidden. Like so many. Sample King. Yeah. So many. So many references, and then Bon Iver, same thing. It's really incredible. Elvis and the new Sophie Coppola directed from Priscilla. So tell us, obviously, the movie is about Priscilla. Mm -hmm. That's the title. But like, what else is going on in the movie? I mean, it really is a, about Priscilla. It's it's uh, it's Graceland through her eyes. It's 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 everything is her experience, which is my sort of favorite part about the film. Yeah. Um, and it's Elvis through her eyes, which is an Elvis that I think a lot of people yeah, that's haven't interesting. seen before. Um, yeah. So it's, it's just like a it's super exciting movie, strangely enough, for a movie that's very quiet and gentle. Yeah. So I heard this about Sophia. Did she try and raffle you off to like get money for the budget? Like what <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, you know, I think I think I think there's laws against. I that. think Sophia <laughs> only heard about that in the press as well. Oh, okay. They took just, they took it and ran yeah, with it. it, was, it they was, never do they, that. No, they don't do that. They always tell the truth. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, but no, it was news to me. But I mean, I would have done it in a heartbeat. We did have a pickleball sort of tournament running. I've the never whole. played pickleball. Oh really? I know, and it's it'll a huge get thing. You. I, that's kind of why I didn't start. Yeah, it'll creep up on you. I'm a yeah, I'm obsessed. I obsess yeah. over things. Yeah, no, it's it's an. Are you good at it? I'm like capable. You know, like I don't. Are there general, partners in pickleball? Yeah. I don't want to be your partner. No, okay. No, no, <laughs> I, I want someone coming in strong. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so I heard that you had to get like an interesting haircut because you wore so many wigs, right? I did. Yeah, I had this strange 1950s bowl cut thing that could morph into his longer hair, and it was dyed pitch black. So I kind of, I kind of looked like I was like Just in Green Day or super. Fall Out Boy. Oh my god, I love it. Because on the weekends I would have, I had eyeliner from from shooting all week. Eyeliner, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the guy liner, and then it would sort of run, and I, I would. Then he looked like Alice Cooper. I, yeah, so <laughs> yeah. I was walk, I was walking around Toronto in the snow, like with this bowl cut, like extremely, you know, exhausted. I had the bowl cut when I was a kid too. It was not oh, yeah? attractive. <laughs> yeah. Interestingly enough, it did, you know, it carved out a little personality. But anyway, <laughs> um, this isn't your first musical role, though, right? No. Did you grow up doing musicals? <laughs> My stuff? first role ever was a, was a musical. And I played the cat in the hat in Susical the Musical. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like, look how proud you are. Yeah. Yeah, right now. Just, just so proud. I yeah. love it. I love it. I yeah. bet they knew Vin, you know, from that photo. They're no, like, he's no. going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They might say just that. Just the confidence. I, think I love they, it. I think they asked me to leave the school after that. <laughs> Yeah. No. Do you do you believe in like mentorship? Because I would have loved. I came in like as a teenager, and I would have loved to have someone to like bounce stuff off of. Do you have any mentors in the industry? I mean, nothing, nothing so direct. Because I kind of shy away from advice. I'm kind of I yeah. don't like being told sort of what to do. But yeah. I think just subconsciously, the people that I've worked with. Are you a Scorpio? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Okay. Oh, it's uh, a. I'm a Cancer. Which, oh, you're a Cancer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, crab. I like it. Um, <laughs> I'm a little crab. <laughs> yes. No, I love that. Okay. Um, I take advice only as advice. Yeah. yeah. I just don't want to get married to any idea yeah. or anything. I don't want to get married. <laughs> yeah, <fair enough. laughs> no. but, That's great. No, I, I do I do think that because it's what who makes you you. You right, know, your decision yeah. making process. I get that. Yeah. Um I hear that you're also a Jack Kerouac fan. I am. Which is, I feel like you're so young for that, but that's cool. I feel like that's the only time that you're supposed to be a Jack Kerouac fan is like when you're young. Yeah. And then maybe when you're old, you can re you can revisit. Yeah. It. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I kind of found, you know, on the road at the right time, 18, 19, uh, you know, going to America, leaving home. You know, yeah. I've got like fire in my feet, and you know, I'm trying to find the feeling and in, in, in things. So it was um, it was like a companion you know, novel to my sort yeah. of coming to America and everything like that. Yeah, that was Jane Eyre for me. That oh, book yeah? like changed me. Yeah, that was just that, I love that book. It just right. like, I felt it, cause I moved out to LA before Idaho or whatever and, and yeah, I got very lonely. Like I can get lonely really quickly. So I, it's nice to have things like that. Yeah, like, well, that was, that was the, there's the, this section in Kerouac's book cause he's going and going and traveling across America searching for his pal and sort of towards the end he's so sort of tired and weary and there's just one sentence and it's highlighted in my copy of it and he said 
I wish I could see someone that had known me for more than five minutes. And that's paraphrasing oh. it or something like that. Yeah. But that was the really line that, like, yeah. that really kind of rocked me from that book. You know, yeah. this idea of having someone that knows you, like soul and movements, not just kind of yeah. uh, who you are or what you've done or, you know. That I had to, like, train myself to be good at small talk. I was not... That was not my thing. Yeah, I'm not. I'm there amazing yet. at it now, but yeah. like I had to like train myself because I'm deeply like re I like want to know everything right. and I want to get in a real conversation and know someone and that's yeah. really hard for me to do. I just sort of will walk away. Yeah, uh, but I'm in that phase. That's a, I'm that's in the a phase nice of, approach like, as well. If you <laughs> act strange enough, people won't like. Yeah. <laughs> He's odd. You're like, yeah, yeah I'll get away with yeah, it if I'm odd. Yeah, you get away with odd. You know what you mean. <laughs> I love that. Well, yeah. let's do another break, everybody. Priscilla is in theaters nationwide starting this Friday.